Let's try out a number 24. Find the number of ordered pairs of real numbers AB such that A plus BI to the 2002nd power is A minus BI. So basically, we want to find all distinct complex numbers of the form A plus BI such that A plus BI to 2002 gets you the conjugate of A plus BI. So you can think of it, if A plus BI is some complex number Z, we are getting the conjugate. So we want to find the number of solutions to this equation. Z to the 2002 is Z bar. And personally, when I have a complex number being exponentiated to a very large power, I like to visualize the situation in the polar form for the complex numbers because it's much easier to visualize multiplication and exponentiation of complex numbers in polar form. So let's think about what's happening. So we have some complex number a plus bi. So let's say this is the complex number a plus bi right here. So this is a, this is b. Or you can think of it in the polar form. We have the distance r and we have some angle data. So this complex number is r times e to the i data is equal to z. And what's happening? We want to raise it to 2000 second power and get z bar. And z bar is a minus bi, the complex conjugate, or this point. So we want to raise this number to the 2000 second power and we want to get this number. But how can we? Let's think about how this can happen. Let's say the absolute value of the complex number was 2. If the absolute value is 2, when you square this number, when you do z squared, we are going to double the angle by the multiplication in the polar form. And now the absolute value of the new point is going to be raised to power of 2. So now this length is going to be 2 squared. And when we raise this to the third power, when you cube z, you're going to go around another another data. So we're going to go around another data. And now you're going to go all the way until your length is 2 cubed or 8. So what we're doing, we're doing this rotation with dilation. We're going around 2002 times with this angle data, while our absolute value is getting larger and larger. And it's pretty obvious that there's no way. After 2002 rotations, we're going to get this point because the magnitude is going to keep on getting larger and larger. It's not going to be 2 by the end of it. Now, so does that mean this is impossible? No. Let's think about another case. Let's say the radius was 1 half. Let's say the distance from the origin is 1 half. In this case, when you do z squared, we're going to go around another data. But in this case, our radius is going to shrink down to 1 fourth. So we're going to go to this point with data. If you do z cubed, we're going to go around another data, but we're going to be even closer to the origin. Now we're going to be 2 1 half cubed or 1 eighth. So in this case, as we rotate around 2002 times, our point is going to get closer and closer to the origin, which means when we rotate it 2002 times, there is no way it's still going to be the same distance away from the origin. So r equals to 1 half is not going to work. So what value of r is going to make this work out? Well, r equals to 1 should make it work because when the distance from the origin is 1, when the absolute value is 1, all you're doing is rotation. You don't have any dilation because 1 squared, 1 cubed, 1 to the fourth, all of those are equal to 1. In this case, all we're doing is rotating around the unit circle. So there is a potential, it is possible, to get this value. So r equals to 1 should work out. Are there any other values of r? Well, there's a quite trivial case that you may be forgetting that you should not. r equals to 0. When you have the point at the origin, so when a plus bi is equal to 0, so our value of z is 0, obviously raising it to the 2000 second power is going to get us the same point. And of course, a plus bi equals to 0 means we have 0 plus 0i, and when you raise it to 2000 second power, we are going to get 0 minus 0i. So 0 plus 0i works in this case. So we have found one solution, one and only one solution, satisfying r equals to 0. Now the more complex case, obviously, is the case when the absolute value is 1. Once we have this analyzed, we are done. 
Now there are two possible ways to find the solution. The first way is to use the fact that because r is equal to 1, our value of z is e to the i data. So we know that c, and we want to raise z to the 2002nd power to get z bar. So you want to raise this to 2002nd power to get z bar. And remember, z bar is when we are going data in the negative direction with the same value of r equals to 1. So z bar z bar is going to be e to the i times negative data because in this case we're going data clockwise instead of counterclockwise so we have e to the negative i data and we want to find all possible z satisfying this and of course z is e to the i data and it's pretty easy to see by rearranging this equation we get e to the i data to the 2003 is equal to 1 if you don't see what I'm doing, I'm simply multiplying by e to the i data. This is going to be 1 because e to the 0 is 1. And multiplying e to the i data to e to the i theta times 2002 gets us e to the i theta to the 2003. So we have this equation, z to the 2003 is equal to 1. And by root of unity, by root of unity, we know there are 2003 complex numbers satisfying z to the 2003 is equal to 1. So we have found the 2003 solutions, 2003 solutions from this. Another way of finding this is by realizing when r is equal to 1, so the second method, we know, we know z bar, the complex conjugate, is equal to 1 over z. You may know this, you may not. So let me prove this really quickly. So we know z is a plus bi, and we know z bar is a minus bi, and we know r is equal to 1, so we know this distance is 1, and you know this is a, this is b. That's telling you by Pythagorean theorem that a squared plus b squared is 1. So realize that when you multiply a plus bi by a minus bi, so when you do z times z bar, we get, because it's difference of squares, we get a squared plus b squared, which is of course 1. So when the distance from the origin is 1, when the absolute value is 1, we have 1 equals to z times z bar, or z bar is 1 over z. So the equation we're looking at z to the 2002 is equal to z bar. There was the equation, if you remember. So we were looking at the equation z to the 2002 is z bar. And because in this case, z bar is 1 over z, looking at this equation, we know z to the 2003 is 1. And once again, we arrive at 2003 solutions. So no matter how you go about this, when r is equal to 1, we have 2003 solutions. So we have one solution when r is equal to 0. And when r is 1, we have 2003 solutions. So the final answer is 2004.